Now, After Effects isn't fully made to be doing 3D animation. Um, that's why they have Cinema 4D built into it. We'll just uh, actually, let me create a nice little gradient layer for us for our background. Eh, that's something. All right, from here, we're just gonna bring in a couple shape layers and we're going to create our own shape by just using the pen tool. So, I don't know what kind of shape this is, but we've made a shape. From here to make things work to have 3D objects, we just have to turn on this, which makes the objects 3D. And as you can see, when I do that, we get some more options, geometry options, material options. So we'll just do that to all of them. Now it hasn't changed much yet, but now we're going to go into geometry options and change the extrusion depth. You can see it's getting bigger. It's easier to see when I add a light. Let me just do that really quickly. We add a spotlight and you can see the depth of each shape. So if I make that even bigger, we get a bigger depth. You can do that with every single shape. We just change the extrusion depth to give it some depth. Uh, I mean, that's what extrusion depth does. This So the circle, you can't make a sphere, but you can make this kind of cylinder. So if you want to make a sphere, you, it doesn't really work. You can make things look like a sphere with, with shading and things like that. That's probably actually better to do in 3D. But yeah, that's how you create 3D shapes.